Hi there, and welcome back to Kip DC Math. Today, we will name the place and value of digits. Let's get started. So I wanna start by telling you that there are two questions that we can ask about the digits in numbers. The first question we can ask is what is the place? When we're talking about place, we're talking about where something is. And when we think about where something is, we could think about where we are. For example, maybe right now you're in your home or maybe later you'll be at the park. So if I ask you where you are, you would say at the park. So when we're talking about place, we're talking about where something is. The second question we can ask is what is the value? When we're talking about value, we're talking about how much something is worth. And it's helpful to think about money because we know that different coins and different dollar bills are worth different amounts. For example, this $100 bill is worth $100. So when we're thinking about numbers, we can answer questions about the place, where something is, or the value, how much something is worth. Let's think about that with the number 157. When I label the digits, I see that 157 has 100, five tens, and seven ones. And we've also been talking about how we can represent numbers with expanded form. So if we wanna show 157 with expanded form, we could say 100 plus 50 plus seven equals 157. Now, we can ask some questions about the digits in the number 157. The first question we can ask is what is the place? When we're thinking about place, we're thinking about where something is. So we could say, what is the place of the one? That means, where is the one? And since I labeled each digit, it's really easy to see. I can say that the one is in the hundreds place. Let's think about five. What is the place of the five? That's right. The place is the tens place. That's where it is. And last, the place of the seven is the ones. That's where it is. But we know we can also ask about the value. We can ask what the value is of each digit in the number 157. And when we think about value, we're thinking about how much each digit is worth. And this gets a little tricky because a digit's place, where it is, tells us its value. Just like we showed when we wrote expanded form. So, if I ask you what is the value of the one, we'd say that the value of the one is 100 because this one is worth 100. Now you try, what's the value of the five? Very good, the value of this five in 157 is 50 and that's because it's in the tens place. So this five represents five groups of 10. And what's the value of the seven in 157? That's right, the value of seven is just seven because it's in the ones place, so it's worth seven single ones. Okay, friends, today when you're thinking about three-digit numbers, don't forget we can ask two questions. The first question we can ask is what is the place? And when we're talking about place, we're talking about where something is. Just like if I asked you where you are, you could tell me I'm at home. The second question we can ask is what is the value? When we're talking about value, we're talking about how much something is worth. And we can always think about money because different bills and different coins are worth different amounts. 